Alright, hi. Looking at policy MC517, um, 517, file 413018, page 1, is effective um, February 28, 1982, supersedes MC517 of 9181, source approved. Uh, your caboose electrical system general operation. The caboose electrical system compromises these um, parts. Electrical storage batteries 12 volts, the echo and axle battery charging driving with motor rail 120 amper. Alternator electrical distribution panel, the fuse circuit breaker with low voltage, no charging timer, unit lighting circuit switches, wiring conductivity function. Electrical storage batteries provided with a burn, um, provides power to burn various lights, but the use of the needs demands the battery ca is capable of supplying with the power with a given period of the time, depending on the state of the condition. Therefore, it's essential for the power to be restored to the battery at some given time so that the battery is able to repeat re its delivery of more powerful than um, one time. Battery charging system will provide this, and when car moving with some of the moderate speed of the generator will produce the power sufficient to carry the car lighting load with replace the power battery. In order to conserve the battery power when the car is standing on the, uh, or when the lights have been left on and on the car, it's unintended at the time the device will shut off all the lights except the rear the rear light of the, dock, the conductor's desk light will function over the times modified, nullified with the generator charging, including the time your unit with the low voltage cut out. This feature will shut off the lights except at the rear end of the rear of the train. The desk light will, when the battery voltage falls to the low 10 volts, the function of lower voltage device is provided with the protection to the battery against the deep discharge and still allow the rear of the train red light up to the function with an extended period of time. The distribution panel contains the master circuit breaker with the circuit fuse with the low voltage diamond device with the generator's charger pilot light. Generator charging fuse the time reset button main circuit breakers has to be in the on position for all lighting and generating and charge each light controlled the independent switch except for the car body lights two lights the two lights are controlled the switch one one switch system volts is 12 volts dc charging system 14 volts 120 amperes volt battery 12 volts 140 ah rated total light lighting load um 301 watts estimated normal 10 hour watt and load 1200 watts all right, the caboose electrical system general operation continued operation to place the system in operation. The following procedure shall be followed. Plane the ma place the main circuit breaker to the on position. Of the main circuit breaker is accessible with the opening with the distribution panel. The circuit breaker must be on the on for the generator to charge. But um, push the reset button to reset the low low, vol um, low voltage device. Individual lighting circuits can may be activated by the circuit of the circuit of the toggle switches. A the desk light fixture will switch located with the fixture one fifty watt lamp. Desktop um, desk type uh, this time. Table to lamp light should be located with the one six watt lamp. Toilet light, toilet light fixture switch of the toilet room wall with the fifty watt lamp and the car, D the car body light fixture switch of the end of the car body car wall twenty five watt, watt lamps. E the brake light circuit um, switch on the side walls is seated at twenty five watt lamps. Five F the platform light fixture switch located at each end of the car on the wall twenty five lamps. And G to the rear of the tra train flashing red light switch located at the end of the, each of the car on the wall. Low voltage. Low voltage cutout and timer located with the distribution panel automatically set with the manual reset for the required of the timer will allow the power for the period of 30 minutes with one for the main circuit with the turn and less of the battery voltage below the 10 volt. Every 30 minutes all the circuit breakers will drop out with the expected desk light over the rear of the red light, train red light. This occurs with the reset for the time that's required of the reset will give it another 30 minutes lighting up until which the time of the low voltage feature of the device shuts down the, the lighting when the battery charging of the system begins to operate the time over the rhythm lights will stay on the long as required. Battery charging indicator Power light located on the door of the distribution panel will bite the main breaker if the turn on should go and indicate the charging system operating with the car is in motion. Charging system automatic protected with the 150 watt amp fuse is located with the distribution panel. The fuse should be placed replaced only when the car is standing still, only when it, by a qualified employee. Five circuit fuses. These small fuses located with the distribution panel protecting the lighting circuit. The replacement of the first, these fuses should be done only when the main circuit breaker is in the opposition, only as a qualified employee. Six remote external charging of the battery located within the distribution panel is polarized chain charging receptacle. The receptacle is capable of handling a battery battery charge with an output of 25 amperes. And external charging is required for the, such and charges that achieve the available to receive receptacle that can be used in the event of the system failure to be reported by the operating crew. The prompt of atten attention is even the repair of the failure. All right, the basic sequence check. Um, basic check, check sequence. You have your um, basic check sequence, caboose electric. Check for bad indicator lamp. Check for alternator field, um, alternator field circuit. Check for the condition of battery voltage and specification, specificity. 
um, voltage uh, present. Um, if no, recharge the battery and retest. If yes, um, check the faulty regulator and check the defective alternators. All right, it's plain main circuit um, breaker on. Red pilot light light on the panel. Will door will light and push for button on located on the panel door. The car body will light. If no, check the low voltage and the time um, circuit board and voltage above 10.5. If the voltage is not below 10.5, recharge and battery and retest decision. If the voltage is above 10.5 volts, check for loose connections, repair and retest system. All right, if the um, place the main circuit breaker on red button pilot light light on the panel door will light. Push the reset button on located on the panel door. Car body lights will burn. If yes, car body lights will remain burning for 30 minutes. If no, check the condition of the battery voltage, specific gravity for the voltage between 10.5 and 12.5 volts. If no, check charging fuse to check the loose connections, re recharge the battery to retest the system. If yes, check the releases of the connections. If the voltage is between 10.5 and 12 volts, and the specific gravity um, um, between 1200. Um, And um, check the battery up it's being overweight with the by checking the battery. Check the battery charging fuse. Check for loose connections. Um, if the battery water, if you check for the battery water inside over the plates. If um, check for loose connections. Our main circuit a circuit breaker with the red light pilot light on. The doors will light with a push with the button located with the panel door. The car body will light. If yes, the car body light um, light remains burning for 30 minutes. Yes, check with all the lighting circuits. Check the circuit fuse for a faulty switch for loose connections for faulty lamp socket, and also check the all lighting. If the if the car body that remains burning for 30 minutes, check all the lighting circuits. If yes, replace the lamps, and if found bad, all right, replace for the main circuit breaker and the red light panel on the, on the door will light. If yes, the desk light of the rear of the train flash right red will burn. Check the lamps and fuses and switches. <coughs> Uh, the caboose maintenance instruction deco generator drive. The drive the unit must be given an inspection when the caboose within the service of the track of the sheave the line of the belt condition spring tension. Check with the necessary adjustment with the required belt should be inspected for the missing successfully worn bad leak right, crack conditions. Belts must be replaced with such condition exists. I'll sheave the axle cap sheave with the alternator sheave must be inspected with the damage except for the groove with the wear damage the bent sheave that should be replaced. Adler sheave should be shown with the sign of the turning freely and be in alignment with the drive and alternator sheave. The belt tension should be noted with loose belts will result with excessive flipping causing Belt and sheave groove the wear belt tension successfully would result with the belts and um, bearing damage. Alternator drive that should be have the lively springing action. The tension of the loose of the belt will feel with the dev. If there's too much tension, there will be given no within the belt. Correct tension with the belt can be determined by depressing the belt approximately one half inch. Normal thumb pressure about ten pounds. New driving mounting plate with associated um, parts must be inspected with the proper the securement of the pivot. The pivot brackets must be secured with the shoulder belt in place. The alternate anchor bolts in place. The anchor brackets. Secure with the compression spring bracket and spring must be in position secure. Five placement belt replacement never makes new and old belts in a set. A set of belts of two per or two per set must always be properly matched when they apply with the driver. The event with the belt should be loose for the set. The newly matched with should be applied for as soon as possible, allowing only you operating with the belt missing with the extended period of the time will result with excessive shear groove of the belt wear. Additionally, the drive will not function efficiently. You for the belts have them in removed from the drive. The good condition should be accumulated with the match and two per set pair and reused. Our right, caboose maintenance instruction for the Deco generator drive continued. Idle, idle, idle repair. Sheep with the bearing group place will eventually show excessive wear when the continual surface when the curve of the dismantle idler cleaning up the old lubricant room assemble the new bearings for gas with the group plates for back the fresh grease. Caution is to be taken when the idler assemble them tightly and sheep to turn freely. For the testing and repairs, alternator step idler's electrical system in front of the section of the manual covering the item. All right, this shows your caboose deco end of uh, end of axle unit part list. Um, show the mount, mounting plate, guiding bracket, guide guide um, MTG, pot plate, pot plate bracket, bracket day theme, bushing shaft, shoulder bolt, alternate slide base, alternate bra MTG bracket, alternate bracket, compression spring bracket, compression spring retainer, compression spring step idler MTG um, bracket, step idler 10.2 to 4.0 um, PD roller bearing cap sheave, alternate sheave, um, the belts, deco hose, 6 inches long, belts 2 per set, hardware kit, guide bracket, wear pl um, plates, and I showed the model number for the model M18 and uh, so the M5 and the M19. Items with the double, um, with the asterisks are items which are also most importantly warrant replaced. The items should be stocked at the local store department where the repairs should be, are to be done so that the stock quantities are shown. 
All right, your caboose, Deco, and with the axle drive torque values. Motorola alternator model 12-7A, no, sorry, 12-7SA-115 mounting. One-half inch diameter HD cap screw, SAEW um, number 5, 75 foot-pounds, 7 16th inch diameter HD cap screw, uh, SAE number 5, 50 foot-pounds. Motorola alternator nut, 50, 60 foot pound, one pound, alternator slide base cap screws, one half diameter hex head cap screws, SAE number 15, number 5, 60 foot pounds. Alright, S step other mounting cap screws, half inch diameter HGX hex screwed cap screws, 60 foot loads. 50 foot pounds. All right, your roller bearing cap screw, um, sheave with three and a half inch diameter cap screws, four and one quarter inch, eight inch journal, 110 to 120 foot pounds per AR spec, seven eighth of an inch diameter cap screw, five foot and about five by five inch nine inch journal, 140 foot pounds AR spec, seven eighth diameter cap screw, five and a half to ten inch journal, 140 foot pounds AR spec. All right, caboose is procedure for the overall greasing with the step idler and axle with the deco driver units. Remove the clean inspect bearing for the wear and the etc. Replace for the pitted worn clean inspection shaft. Remove old grease clean inside of the pulley hub. Inspect rear seal of the 107RS for the replace for the necessary with the reapplying the 107RS cleaning of the ply with the bore tight and tight sealing sealing and manufactured with the Chicago Rawhide Manufacturer MFGR um, company. Pack bearing with the sheet Alvino Alvina EP, uh, EP2 um, greased um, per Timken pure spec. Apply grease between rear and seal and inboard facing with the rear bear bearing. Approximately one eighth of an inch layer with the grease inside the wall with the help of the cavity between the two bearings. Hand pack greasing with the cavity between the outer board of the face flaring with the bearing of the front grease with the retainer pin plate after installing the lock nut. Bearing end of the plate with the lateral should be at least um, three thousandths to five thousandths of an inch on the idler. Use the Loctite on the 10 to 32. 10 32 10 32 machine screw with a reapplying grease retainer plate. Step the idler sheath parts list. All right, your descriptions are the shaft, complete bearing cap, um, cup and cone, flat washer, lock nut, lock washer, gray, grease retainer plate, grease retainer plate, gasket, one ten thirty two by five thirty eighths of an inch, uh, five, ten thirty two five eighth Phillips head match, m machinery screw, lock washer seal, step idler, casting number 30621B idler. All right, your caboose, electrical storage, battery maintenance for the care of the Excite, Excite RT104. 140 lead lead acid battery design, especially for the rail surface of the cell with their heat bound with the construction easily clear. Polycarbonate jar with the blue pile blue polycarbonate covers. Cells are some with the blue um Blue polyester tray with the bond securely with the tray with the stainless steel bonding with an inner cell with a connector protected with the ballot pro poly pro propellion shields eliminate danger accidental shorting um Meter probe hole to provide with the shield to enable the digital cell reading to be taken with each extra, extra protection to provide with the flame retardant jar tray to the construction handles lifting to provide with the tray and panel of the two three cell the unit to connect with the interior to provide the 12 volts from the caboose electrical system. The better capacity of the files for the specific gravity of 1 and 250 thousandths. Um, at 77 degrees Fahrenheit, hour rate 20, 140 um, AHs. Uh, eight, 125 AHs. Um, five, 110 AHs. Two, 90, hour rate, two, 95 AHs. One, 70 AHs. AH to 1.7 volts per cell. Finished car charge rate is 6 amps. Dimension per cell or unit with the H equals 12.87 inches. Weight 6.31, 6.31 inches. L, 11 inches. Weight water charge is approximately 90 pounds per tray. Basic charge rate is 2.31 volts per um, cell at 77 degrees Fahrenheit. A monthly other inspection reader record the following of the battery re record card. Specific gravity of the pilot and the pilot cell is to be rotated each month. Um, two electrical lights. So the charge will show the, the very gradual lowering of the electrical light over the period of time due to the loss of the water electrolyte. This is normal function with the valve of the hydrogen and oxygen being liberated with electrolysis. As a result of the charging current, the cells are also loose. Water with a normal evaporation has a rate related to the cell temperature and humidity. At regular intervals, the water loss must be replaced with the distilled and improved the water so that it maintains the electrolyte level. Due to this, water must be added the lower level, level lowers below the splash cover of the filling of the one quarter inch below the lower edge of the top stainless seal bottom with the end of the base band on the battery. To do this easily, just to do this just easily properly, to use the Excite Cellar Filler Cat numbers eight zero three four six. Record the amount of water added. 
Caboose Electrical Storage Battery Maintenance AK A Care Continued Inspection Record um, Inspection Record Regulator Voltage is Found Record Battery Cleaning Observe the Battery Cleanliness Which Necessary Wipe Off the Accumulation of Dust for the Cell Cover the Jars Cloth Clamped with the Clean Water if The Cells in the Jars Are Damp with the Spill of Electrolyte Wipe Off with the Cloth Damp with the Solution of Bicarbonate Soda with the co in Cold Water Mixture pro Proportion of One Pound Bicarbonate for the One Gallon of Water After Cleaning the Wipe Dry with a Clean Cloth If Any Irregularity Condition Batteries Indicate with the Reeve the Record of the Gravity of all cells refer to the supervisor. Or accessory parts: hydro hydrometer syringe, excitite cat one three one four two cell filler eighteen inch long, excitite cat eight zero three four six voltmeter one percent. The accuracy cable connector specific specific length: um, excitite cat eight zero eight two one six nine replacement battery. A repair. The Excite battery needs normal um, needs no normal repairs. Overall solution charging and change for the and changes during its life. If any of the damage of their circumstances necessary, such attention should be sent to the um an Exercise Service Center of the Exercise RT140 a battery is warranted with the free defects and workmanship of the material for the period of one year from the date of the shipment and the additional batteries wanted, warranted pro for a period of five years for the day of the shipment delivered 80% of the rate of the capacity. The warranty is subject to the use of the proper care maintenance of the corner for the Exercise published or operating with the maintenance instruction for you misuse physical damage abuse for the other normal wear tear of the and would be invalidate the warranty. Cold weather battery subject to the freezing dispatch. Design of the battery will allow the accident External freezing for the battery without breakage of the jar. The freezing does not does occur. The following steps should be taken: the remove the battery from the caboose, place the battery in suitable place for the battery. Electrical light will thaw out whenever the apply the normal heat or open flame to the battery. The battery could explode. Recharging battery to a proper charge rate after recharging to 1.255 thousand specific gravity. Place the battery back in service. Caboose electrical light and storage battery uh, maintenance and care continued. Safety precaution. Gases produced by a battery can be explosive. Do not smoke or use an open flame. Create an o arc or spark in the vicinity of the any of the battery. Ventilate when all in the enclosed space with the wind charge. Batteries covered with these instructions contain sulfuric acid, which may cause severe burns when it goggles and plastic and rubber apron gloves. Do not get acid in eye skins or clothes in case of the flush with immediately through with clean wa clear water. Pay medical attention if when the eyes are affected. Are right, your caboose lighting panel function operating instructions attached here and with the automatic equipment company bulletin number A. 0801, which explains the operation adjustment of the battery monitoring unit. Um, part of the lighting panel included with the bulletin is complete with the part list, wiring schematic of the lightning pa lighting panel, and also schematic diagram of wiring color code of the all, all electrical cir lighting circuits. All right, your automatic equipment um, company AE. East Jackson Boulevard, Chicago, Illinois, 60604, telephone number 312-427-091, representing the manufacturer of the railroad equipment for the steam generated locomotive clean cars and shop facilities. Battery monitor TVS 5030E. Batteries are stripped with that permit, but they only the intermittent charge required with the protection against excessive discharge caboose batteries and lighting the surfaces where the caboose has no charge during the long period for the staying with a slow operation compared with the less repair of the operation under the full charge, particularly vulnerable to battery monitoring, protect against unnecessary excessive discharge. In general terms, the 12 volt 6 cell lead acid battery can be discharged until the cell voltage declines at 1.7500 of a uh, volt cell with or 10.5 volts after the Voltage to profit rapidly, hence the 10.5 volts can be considered a voltage at which the battery is essentially discharged. Further discharge to lower the voltage can cause sulfating to the extent where the capacity may not be restored until the normal charge conditions at 10.5 volts, then in lowest practical lowest voltage. The TBS5 um, TBS5030 battery monitoring drop the light load with the 10.5 volt with the exemption can be made with those loads that must be kept intact, such as the running lights or possible radios. One of the loads drop of the battery voltage will tend to rise, but the lights cannot. Be restored until the rest of the button is pushed with the possible obtaining light with a game of the few moments of the monitoring will game the drop of light for the load cause of the voltage drop again if the course of direct indication of low battery for which only remedy is charging. The higher voltage kept the better with the battery performance hence with the worthwhile with the preventing excessive light use within within when the car is standing with the intro lighting of the until the departure of the monitoring battery monitoring complex light and limiting lighting use of the one half to hour intervals after the reset button is pressed, the one half additional light is provided with the one half hours renewed every time with the bolt and button is pressed with the time limit is exceeded the light goes out but can be restored each time by pressing the reset button the lower voltage setting could cause um, could could of course come into play with the procedure and continue long enough thus the controlling of the lowest voltage and by the limiting of the light into the half hour interval the batteries are kept in the best possible condition for later service 
Only charge uh, only the car starting to move and the lighting engine generator picks up the start with the battery charging system. Voltage rises above 12 volts at the time of the need, but the, from the timer protection is no longer necessary. Hints about the 12 and a half volts of the timer are null, but the lights are available continuously without the interruption. When the car slows or stops, the battery voltage again drops below 12 and a half, and the timer carbon is back into play again. The monitoring protects the against the high voltage in event with an occasional quick charge of the system. Voltage could go high enough to be an problem in lights, but the monitoring of the motor of the, on the circle of the monitor will drop the light circuit during the period of the high voltage reconnecting the load as soon as the voltage returns to normal. Three voltages of the battery monitor works when be, um, when when used with the lead acid barrier barriers the low voltage of ten and a half, timer voltage twelve and a half, and high voltage sixteen and a half. Different um, voltage settings can be provided with the batteries other than the lead acid. To see if the maintenance electrician determined that the system is functional correctional or correctly with the two LEDs are on the TVS panel. One of these lights with the 28 seconds of the eyes uh, off the for the 28 seconds of the condition prevailed. The timer is correctly set for the 30 minutes. No further check with the circuit breaker is to be made. Needed to be made. Secondly, the LED with either flashing on and off of the or is instead of the light with the condition. Flashing condition tells us whether we are in timer mode that is in system of the voltage on the 12 and a half volt steady light with the condition tells us that we are in a full battery charging condition with the timers and all with the voltage about 12 and a half. Voltage settings can be able only be checked with a separate DC power supply over there for the pen, pen, three panometers or setting with a voltage additional for the setting with a such voltage checking should be seldom necessary with only with the PC board with the remove from the panel with the drawing cover and the distribution panel. The AE2183 lists all the major components of the panel. The TVS5 the zero. 30E details are covered in the drawing E AE109624. Alright, this shows the um, typical 503 battery um, monitoring um, LTPB PB, um, All right, this is your panel. You have a conductivity, one inch conductivity opening and a half inch conductivity opening, and then you have um, uh, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, it, Right, here's your wiring schematic. Um, it shows the 10, ton, ton automatic wire gauge going from the receptacle with the white and in a parallel circuit with the circuit breaker and connecting with the negative circuit breaker. The positive circuit breaker runs also to the receptacle. Um, but the positive also from the circuit breaker also runs from the generator position. Um, to the battery post, negative battery post, and negative pa negative in post, ba negative in post battery post, and, battery, and positive post battery, positive battery positive post really goes to generator position. Generator position goes to the negative circuit breaker, um, and the positive goes from the um, the positive on the circuit breaker goes from the circuit breaker to the receptacle, and also back to the battery negative. Um, your battery monitor BL B positive L L positive um, L B L positive and L positive go back to the 12 hour uh, uh, wire gauge of the circuit breaker. The your BP and BP uh, um, circuit breakers do a reset button in the door. And then L is equal to zero and B is equal to um, goes to the circuit breaker. And there's a 10 auto, a, a wire gauge red. Um, the circuit breaker the circuit breaker also splits into 12 wire gauge but between the um, the platform lights, and that goes into the lighting in the door, uh, which is a recir uh, circuit on um, R1 circuit, light to the door. And you, from your um, fuses, you have fuses, body lights, platform lights, and marker desk from the circuit breaker. Are right, your bill materials? Um, we're not going to read the part number, the, um, but the uh, um, numbers one through nine, and they all have the qu qu quantity of one. The cabinet has a Hoffman's number sixteen M twelve A NEMAA one hinge box or equivalent to du with sub pan. The circuit breaker at ITE um, um, one twenty uh, IE number EE two B zero five zero two pole fifty amp. 125 to 250 volt DC circuit breaker. Fuse one multiple unit 2203 and 338421 amp to 250 volt. Fuse black with bus number NON 15250 volt fuse. Fuse two multiple unit number 2503338403 three pole 30 amp porcelain fuse black with width. Bus and 15, 15 NON and number one bus 9 NON 20 fuses. 
Receptacle, a hum bell at number 7438. Receptacle outlet box with cover, battery monitor, a panel laminate, number TV, F5030, E battery monitor, R1, or um, Monro Mo Motorola number 17, 1 wire round, 17 ohm resistor. Light um, LT1 amp, the AP138064, 3 or 12 volt red light, and PB, AB8, number 8, 800, T, A281, black push button. Let's see if I can read this one, alright, um, without... All right, no, well, we're gonna know all the lamps are rated in, in watts. All the lamps are in tw all the lamps are 12 volts. Wiring size is indicated and size indicated. All right, all right. The first route that I see is the um, the alternator running um, to the uh, battery charging indicator or field resistor, 75 amps ohms. Um, then running from um, a pole circuit breaker, the, the follow the will go around the alternator path first. Um, on the right, um, from the field resistor, it goes through a uh, 50 amps pole circuit breaker with a through the um, connected with a jumper to the excited um, RT140 battery. Also, the two pole charging receptacle black. Um, then from the um, also from the alternator, it goes the block number one A gauge to the also on the other side with it runs two parallel circuits with the two pole jar, um, charging receptacle black jumper excited one horn forty k and then it also pulls off at the um, fifty amp circuit breaker or right, in between the battery charging indicator and the low volts cut out cut four timer unit there is a set of uh, red red light two red lights at a and b end of the car and a conductor um desk and map uh, map light with the a single switch um single switch open um switches and then it gives their watch at 35 35 4 50 and 60 and then from the low voltage cutoff jumper, there's a jumper that goes from the low voltage cutoff edge for the timer, which rides on the outside circuit of all the lights, um, in between the control amp, the um, circuit breaker, and the field circuit fields um, in the low voltage cutoff timer. Here you meet um, a uh, your um, platform, your ceiling, your brake man, your ceiling, your toilet room lights, and uh, um, these are controlled by um, two different um, um, two different switch gates um, or switches. All right, this is your basic check sequence for a caboose electrical system. Um, I think we've read this one, but by the ba place of the back of red pipe panel. Um, this was um, done on the earlier page, and we're going to re remain, re remain um, go to the next page. We've read that one already. It was on the other, the other illustration. All right, Caboose alternator. Select the alternator. Select the proper charging system required to serve the decision voltage system. Voltage is determined by the operating voltage of the battery and other accessory. Polarity determined by the wiring accessory. Amperage of the total current consumption of the, all the electrical accessories. Play for the possible increase that may be added later over the time and standby use. Application of the theory of the model, you've determined the environmental load and the type of the any duty required. With, with, with all the above the mind, it is determined that the Motorola 12 SA115, the alternator would be best suited for the alternator to divide with the, convert, the mechanical magnetic energy to alternating current of the voltage mechanical energy is obtained by movement of the caboose car with the energy transmitted through the drive system of the operating alternator by rotating the electronic magnetic field inside of the three phase trader. Some of the alternator converts with the ma ma mechanical and mecha magnetic energy to the alternating current voltage with the alternating current of the voltage or change directly. Directly, the current voltage is passing the AC energy through the three-phase full wave rectifier. The diode is the path of the diode. Direct current with the only direction of the range of the, um, of the alternator eliminated for the need for the cutouts to relay with the voltage regulated the individual rectifier diodes are assembled the two temperatures dissipating the heat sink for the heat sinks are played for the alternator the red thread studs that serve the servers of the circuit terminals. Maximum charging limit is um, circuit charging current is limited to the design connection with the stator assembly eliminating the need for the current regulating relay with the voltage regulator. The the alternator has the delta wound stator with the way you feel in the separate field of the diode alternating field current with the initial excitation. Um, since the alternator is not given the negative or positive wound ground current with the field excitation, polarity is important. Alternate excitation. The steel pole piece for the alternator rotor of the tree would prevent the residual permanent magnetism necessary to pass electrical energy through the rotor field with the winding of the established magnetic flux of the rotor in order to initiate the charge. 
All right, caboose, alternator continued. Alternator excitation continued. Switch control with the positive battery with the applied with the excitation resistor resolving the current flow with the regulator terminal with the, of the alternator with the current sequence of the path with the least resistance pass through the voltage regulator with the field circuit with the negative greeting with electronic magneto, electromagnetic within the rotor with the electrical load with the rotor and winding with the cut of the voltage drop across the excitation resistor attended with the protect of the field with the wind alternating with the chart with the flow of the current with the from the save with the through the rectifier drive with the battery with the return with the diode negative diodes all after the initial excitation the excitation Path is complete with the rectifier field dive with the regulator with the rotor windings. Are your voltage regulator? The voltage regulator is electronic switching device for the regulator. Sends with the voltage appearing with the alternator the regulator terminal supplied with the necessary field for the current to maintain the system voltage of the alternator output the terminal. Zero zernier diode thermostat or thermostat is incorporated with the voltage regulator circuit, circuit with along with the switching and transistors and for zero no dilator voltage sensitive equipment component when the thermostat or serve to adjust the zero diode in action to suit with the regular ambient temperature. All right, conserve the voltage regulator. Have then two basic circuits: the loading circuit and the control circuit. With the load circuit, the switching transistor, the transistor, which dealt with the current, with the input, with the output, with the providing with the base of the element transistor, negative with respect to the input and M or um, um, The transistor will not conduct with the negative energy of the base element with the be less negative. Base element currently is only a fraction of the load of the current with the emitter collect. With the control circuit, with the regulator circuit, the switch the base element with the power transition full negative with the less but light negative. Thereby controlling the high circuit and tro- circuit current flow with the output transistor. That is used to be energized by the alternating field. Our right, caboose alternator, um, alternator continued. The alternator Motorola 12, um, 12 SA115. Rated 12 volts, 120 amps. Firmly lubricated ball bearings. Insulated diode plate for the multiple type of the application. Low cut with a high charge to low speed. Brushes and slip rings enclosed. Housing moldable iron with strength and durability. Terminal identification cast and hiring. Built in the radio frequency suppression. Um, bi directional fan. Dynamically battery, um, balanced rotary. Shaft with a 7 inch thin stock. Stoder epoxy coated with varnish with increased and uh, insulation environment. Protection diodes trio permits with the use of indicator lights without relay inter, inter- integral regulator with a convenient regulator replacement regulatory regulatory fully transition transrides expositive field with the temperature consolidated. These alternator three phase diode rectified by the machine for the light wave of the strong of the recommended with the heavy duty the strip of the field with the alternator with which concentrically with the about with the core of the road of the field structure um field structure which contains the twelve of the pole with the side of the pole pair of the rotor and a rotary dynamically based on the after the jumble that minimizes the vibration of the rotary is supported by the alternator beam that bound by a pair of the sealed ball bearings. Having the alternator casting of the shield is so designed with the protect of the brush with the slip ring from much of the dirt and splash from the normally encounter of the brush holder holders are easily easily removed after the removal the voltage regulator with either inspection or replacement that does not require the its alternator disassembly. The stator contains the current winding with the alternator mounted with the unit of the clamp of the four loads of the diameter lamp and lamination with the center of the shader between the two halves and the shade. The lamination is insulated with the epoxy coating with the prior to the insulation with the three ways three phase winding of the assembly of the is varnish coating of the add and insulated with the preventing the movement of the windings in youth. The stator is connected with the three phase full wave bridge rectifier package which will con- which contains twelve diodes. This bridge converts the AC generated to the stator to the DC output with the battery charging light put it's and other accessories power of the regulator of the field alternators provide with the field diode contained within in the, in the alternator this is low current version of the positive half of the rectifier bridge permits the use of the indicator lamp also isolates the regulator and field with the battery to prevent battery drain for the alternator is not operating all right, subject testing the alternator regulator function with the testing within suspected with the, that the regulator vol, the voltage regulator the defective within operative with the quick test may be made with the indicating the function of the test must be made with the caution so that the regulator is not subject to damage and cause the wrong polarity the po- polar polarity and understood with the regulator compromised with electrical device sensitive volta- voltage po- polarity test one field circuit um, contri- uh, continuity place number one main place the main circuit breaker on the on position two then the small red charging indicator light will light when if it does not burn burn check of the battery voltage light should be even light even when the voltage is less than ten volts. If the battery voltage is present with the check of the defective lamp, if the lamp is bad, replace it. For a check of the voltage regulator regulated voltage shall be detained with the voltmeter relieved with the negative output of the terminal the alternator regulator terminal the voltage should be within two to three volts of the battery. Five if the voltage is not present check of the open and short field winding. Test two regulator regulator function test. Place the main circuit breaker in the position panel on the opposition. Remove the 155 amp main charge fusing. Remove 
the four irregulator molting, mounting bolts which hold the regulator to the end of the alternator. Pull the regulator back with the, from the end of the alternator make the, sure the housing of the regulator is free from the contact with any of the electrical terminal of the connection. Refer to the sketch below file steps and as given using the suggested material indicated that they continue as outlined. Insulate the brush from the slip ring that may be done with uh, inserting the piece of the paper between the carbon brush and the copper slip ring. 7. Connect the test lamp leads with the negative and positive bush terminals. 8. Within three, with three 6 volt the lantern, la lantern batteries connected with the series the given that potential with 18 volts. Connect the positive the wire regulator, regulator terminal on the alternator. Watch the lamp with the monetary plate with the negative wire with the three lantern bolt batteries to the negative output terminal with the alternator. The test lamp should light when they go, then go out. When they indicate the regulator with the pass the voltage, then shut off the, when the voltage applied excess for the regulators regulating voltage of 14.2 volts. Remove the test lead for the test lamp with the insulator between the bushes and the slip rings. Our subject test alternating continue. Test 2 the regulator function test continue. Replace for the regulator end of the alternator properly aligned with the fill, fill gasket. Apply four regulator mounting screws. Caution care be, may, may be taken when, re, when running the screw. Now is not cho the cock the regulator or strip off the mounting of the screws. Have the thread tighten evenly. Place 150 amp main charging fuse after testing is completed. Right, this shows the um, uh, wiring schematic. I'm going to back out of this one. You have one 6 volt ladder, um, these lanterns on the bottom, um, 6 volt lantern bounds, positive test lead, um, and then the jumper to the jumper to the jumper on the test lead with the bat lanterns. They run from the regulator, um, the positive red wire with the red, we can, um, regulator um, into the terminal and the alternator. And the regular black wire with the neg negative negative terminal. Also on the top of this, you show the lamp, the 12 volt, 6 watt, the uh, 20, um, 20 gate, and 20. A, a 28 a, a wire gauge alternator clips, positive brush holder, positive bu brush terminal, negative the brush terminal, negative the brush holder. And this is kind of like flipped around, so you see the regulator also in the cross section view the black wire and the brushes and the green wire. All right, subject testing alternator. In the event of the belief that the alternator is not functioning properly, you should um, undergo the inspection and testing on the car, testing the inspection unit with the proper operation, check the inspection of the bullet, bullet, belts and pulleys and sheath, check all the electrical connection, tighten in proper determination, drawing page number AMC523, inspect the check alternator, state of the diodes, assembly per attach for the drawing pages 4 and 5, inspect the check rotaries, assembly per attach for the drawing page 6, the rotor state or diode assembly check with a good additional testing in order to determine the alternator rate, rate, rate regulator is good. Seven, if the alternator test good is uh, may be desired to run the test or alternator that must be done by 7A, remove the drive brake, some of the B plane, so the main circuit breaker in the opposition, 7C, turn off all the light loads, 7D, note the field circuit when the alternator is good, 7E, arrange the rotate, rotate the alternate rotor by using also auxiliary motor capable of spring alternator rotor in 60 to 700 RPMs, S5, S7 and F, the voltmeter, voltmeter across the output of terminals, voltmeter node of the, um, um, output we need to the 14.5, four, sorry, 14.2 volts. The voltage does not regulate at 14.2 volts. The regulator is bad. SG, or 7G, replace the regulator retest. All right, your off-car test, bench test. Um, one, inspect the drive for the unit, uh, for proper operation. Two, inspect the bells from the pulleys and sheaths. Three, check all the electrical connection, tighten its proper termination. Drawing page number eight. Remove the alternator from the car. Five, inspect the check alternator, state of the diodes, assemble the pervertage, attach pages, pages, drawing pages four and five. Inspect the check rotors, assemble the pervertage, drawing page six. If the rotor state of the diodes, assembly, check good. Additional testing in order to determine if the alternator rotor regulator is good. Then it's going to be done by the running of the alternator at speed of 700 RPM. Seven, eight, place the alternator in suitable holding device. 7B, arrange the rotate the alternator rotate rotor by using auxiliary motor cable um, motor capable of the rotating the rotor at speeds of 600 and 700 RPM. The connected dummy load with the um, 7C, the connected dummy load per attached sketch across the output terminal's alternator. 7D, with the dummy load connected with the alternator running turn, turning of the flash of the alternator field with the by using the lantern battery by a per attached sketch. 7E, when the voltmeter meter connected with across the output of the alternator voltage output should be regulated at 14.2 volts. Uh, 75. If the alternator fails to produce the voltage, does not regulate at 14.2 volts. Its regulator is defective. Replace the regulator and retest the alternator. All right. This showed the um, test points. All right. These are rectifiers. These are the positive diodes, and these are the negative ones. The one facing up that goes to the positive diodes, the positive heat sink, um, also your positive stud, and then the three ways, no, three phase winding motor. And also, that shows the three phase the um, the, um 
stud um, from the studs, um, positive, negative stud, and also an, um, number four would be your third winding one with a um, field winding down out. You have a negative stub, negative uh, heat sink of the negative outside terminals, um, heat field diode tra test, and also your um, regulator te te stud te um, terminal. Or, I can't remember that. Or field diode try try output with the regulator. Number four is your AC phase output. Three is the AC phase output, AC ECV output. So this three-phase winding has AC output, but it goes into, um, you have positive, negative wires one and two. Same thing, positive, negative um, diodes, three-phase water, um, AC phase outputs, shielded, si shielded diode trio, um, Field diode trio to the regulator from the negative positive three windings of the of this um, figure eight fifty figure eighty five rotor 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 test inspection show the um, sh the shaft threads the checked um, head clean key slot um, hangers bearing rear bearing slip rings test current draw with the resistance between the slip rings. Your system exhaustion system circuit. Um, battery power to do a switch. Um, S to switch. Um, also a lamp, a regulator terminal, a regulator uh, or a fuse. I guess that's a fuse. Um, in between the exhaustion resistor and regulator field terminal, alternator brush set, slip rings, um, rotary windings, negative output, battery negative on the other side. On the goes from the alternator. From the battery goes to the switch for the um, a lamp. Um, a, a fuse, existent, zyder resistor, regulator, and the regulator from carries the positive to the one set of bushing um, slip rings. The other ones from the negative battery um, the battery. All right, let's read the um, left side. When ignition started with the turn on current flow with the battery through the indicator low with the voltage battery through the field ground with the color of the lamp to be lit with the same time, providing small amount with the current engine out of the field alternator bearing with the produce. Link of the power field current supply through the voltage regulator, regulator terminal alternator says voltage at the point with approximately the same with the battery voltage. No current may pass through the indicator lamp bulb with extinguish. Test inspection rotor, some of the check with the rotor, some of the following electrical mechanical properties. See figure 85. A current drawing resistant winding with the current, current uh, correct current and current windings. Um, 12 volt model build racing. A68 amperes, 1.742.152.24 and 84. Same thing. Uh, um, this shows your current control van to a 24 volt motor model rating, a draw at 20 volts, um, amperes and current correct winding at resistance at 10%, um, positive negative around um, 70, 0 0.9 to 1.5 and 16.5. B ground slip rings, the winding test on meter, the 12 volt DC test, volt only lamp test should be the no circuit with the slip rings to ground condition. The slip rings clean, clean brush and contacting strip of the clock, because the crocus cloth with the remove the minor roughness. Place slip rings, assemble the necessary. D rotor to shaft body, rear bearing slip, the Strips to threads on the shaft, worn key slot, worn bearing surface of the slot, scuff pull, fingered warning drive, rear bearing, the rear, rear replace the um, rotor assembly if any of the above defects are noted. Note new rotors include new rear bearing and slip rings as part of the assembly. <coughs> 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 Alright, this shows the ASA 4-inch um, pulley alternator with integral voltage regulator, then the electrical motive, one third, one and a half horsepower reverse CW and CC counterclockwise and clockwise and counterclockwise rotation. <laughs> Over here, you see the voltage regulator with um, three terminals on it, alternative, alternative positive terminal, a field terminal, um, terminal battery positive, which is wired to the alternator negative terminal for the voltage regulator, which follows this, this um, voltage regulator for the field terminal battery positive that has a monetary as um, straight polarity switch, uh, lantern battery, 6 volt, and a field, ter field terminal battery negative through the alternative negative terminal battery. The alternative positive ter terminal runs through a load bank of a th 350, 350 watt and 12 volt lamp parallel connected with a 150 watt amp or 10.8 amp load. Um, with a DC voltmeter at 0 to 15 amps of the scale, alternative passive terminal on the outside with the connected on two parallel circuits, um, one from the voltmeter to the other to the load bank over the alternator negative terminal. 
All right, motor RPM at 1750, rotor pulley at 2 inch alternate, pulley 4 inch alternate, speed 850 RPM, with motor RPM is 1140, motor pulley 4 inches alternate, pulley 4 inches alternate, speed 1140, motor pulley inches alternate, speed 855. For the show of the um, caboose alternating drive charging iron per job with relation to speed and rotation with non RPMs. All right, your CNN, uh, CNN caboose alternator. Let's cut the tape right there, and then we'll have part two.